Hello my fellow 3D printing enthusiasts, welcome to my channel, Richie's Revelations. My name is Richard Alvarez and today I'm going to reveal the Mint 3D printing pen pro I believe, not exactly sure. So throughout the three years of 3D printing I've made a substantial abundance number of 3D prints and yes most of them are failures. But hey, that's how we learn, right? All my failed prints, well, pretty much failed because some of them had gaps or holes or other imperfections, which led me to just chuck them away. But then I thought there must be a better way on going about this because I'm just wasting a lot of plastic or filaments. So after doing research and, and hours after hours of looking online, the truth is, there isn't much out there that can help with fixing these imperfections. When it comes to PLA prints, of course. When I finally thought there was no way to fix these situations, I went over on the Creality Facebook group and they suggest I buy the Mint 3D printing pen. So I bought it and I figured there was nothing else to lose. So now that it has finally arrived, I figured why not make an unboxing video for you the viewers so you can't struggle like I did. Now without further ado, let's get started. So Mint 3D is probably the most common 3D pens out there. Oh, sorry, something am I? <laughs> it's probably the most common 3D pens out there because they actually licensed the patent from 3 Doodler. So they're pretty much doing it right. I've seen people use 3 Doodler, but the only thing that they tend to use are only 2.85 millimeter filament which isn't common in the 3D printing game as the 1.75 millimeter filament, which I'm sure most of you use for your 3D prints. So I'm really excited to try this out on my prints, not only because they take 1.75 millimeter filament, but because they are using 3D Duelers technology, which there is a single component from the nozzle all the way to the gearbox, which is just one single piece which means it's way unlikely to clog and clogging, which I'm sure I can speak for the most of you, is just up. So, let's open this up. All right, so let's get started. I really like the box. The box is really cool. Check that out. Take your ordinary drawing into 3D works of art. Oh, isn't that clever of them? All right. So, we have the user user manual. Please read through this user manual completely before use. You got it. All right. Looks like their contact information. I guess they have groups on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm making coffee today. What are you making? I don't know. Could be anything. Literally anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, we got some filament. Oh, but it's ABS. And I don't like to use ABS, so let's get rid of that. Luckily, I have some PLA filaments here from Mica 3D, I believe. So I'm going to use this instead. Alright. Looks like we have an AC adapter. USB cord and last but not least nice I really like the slim design on it let's put that on the side oh, no. oh OLED display that's pretty cool nice so you can adjust the temperature with these with these buttons here not exactly sure what this do. All right. So by the looks of it, oh, oh, I didn't even realize this was in here. Was right against the wall. Looks like this is a Phillips screwdriver. Look how cute that is. And nozzle removing tool. Huh really interesting all right so the filament loading hole I'm assuming this is right here because this is where you plug it in to start it on 
Yeah, I was right. This is the temperature control. Minus for down, plus for up, obviously. Power socket, DC 5 volt to A. And oh, this is the speed control. Nice. I'm assuming down to increase the speed, increase the flow, or up to decrease the flow. Nozzle hot end, very hot, like that. Oh. Withdrawal, okay. So this is to feed, double click for continuous feed. And this is to withdraw, okay. All right, so you would adjust the speed to whatever you want. And when you want to feed the filament, you would just click here and whatever speed you have it adjust on will be the flow rate of how much filament will come out, if that makes sense. All right, seems pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna use ABS, I hate using ABS and I don't really have that well ventilation in my studio, so I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm gonna use PLA. And I guess this is where they tell you how to properly insert the filament. Huh, it's funny because this is the way you will use or this is the way you'll cut to insert the filament into the extruder. But this is actually the quite opposite here. The correct way is completely flat and not the way we use for our 3D printer. So that's uh, it's pretty weird, I don't know. Uh, okay. All right, let's try it out. All right, so I just plugged it in. I really like the display, it's nice and clear. So, again, I'm not gonna use the ABS just cause I'm not really a fan of it. And again, I really don't have any ventilation in the studio. So I really don't wanna be inhaling those fumes. So I'm put down the side and I so happen to have some green filament around and I'm gonna be practicing on this little uh, geometrical pyramid that was a failed print because I ran out of filament midway. It was running overnight, so I, you know, wouldn't have known. So yeah, it's pretty cool actually. It's coming out beautiful, oh my God. So let's, uh, let's draw some squares on this bad boy. All right. So it says PLA 175 degrees Celsius. I'm probably gonna bump this up to 180 and you know try to try to work from there. Okay. Alright, so first things first, as I'm going to increase the temperature. Right now it's cold. So I'm going to increase it to 180 and it says hold and press the feed button to start it up. All right. Yeah. As you can see. Let's see if it focuses. Huh. Can't really focus on it. So I'm going to put that on the side right here. Let's see what's next. Straighten the edge of the filament if necessary and insert it into the filament loading hole until it stops. All right, so let's straighten this out. This part is the best I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna use a cutter here this straight Ooh, that is tough hopefully than break it it's right. probably as good as I'm gonna get so let's check this out looks like it has reached its target temperature so now I'm going to come on I'm going to insert it here 
until it stops stop right there so I know this is the feed rate and I believe this is at max speed so I'm just gonna slowly turn the dial this back a little bit because I don't want it shooting out all right all right, double click the feed button for continuous feed. Pressing the load or withdraw button once will exit continuous feed mode. All right, so let's try it out. All right. Let's try this out. Whoa, 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 okay. So, going upwards will increase, will increase uh, flow speed. So dialing it down this way will decrease the flow. Let's try it out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna dial all the way down to, to try the speed. I'm gonna see if I could do it like on an angle. Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that's slow. You can hear the gears retracting upwards, so I like that a lot. I thought it was just gonna, you know, just stop, you know, potentially clog up, but I, I hear it retracting backwards really well, so that's, that's a good sign. All right, let's try one fourth, all right? Let's see if I can get this. Not bad, I guess. That's... Oh. <laughs> that might be a little bit... Oh, you know what? I think it would be best... Because I was holding it like this the whole time. Like this. So, like, long ways upwards. But I realized that my middle finger or my pointer finger will, will move this accidentally. And I was wondering why it was coming out so little when I only moved it up one-fourth of the way. So, I think... With the display on the side and hold it like this and have your pointer finger like right on top of it. So let's uh, let's try this again. So I'm going to adjust it to one fourth. All right. Holding it like this like a pencil. Let's give it a shot. So not bad, but you know what? I'm gonna see if I can lower this a little bit to 175 because the plastic is really melting as soon as it comes out. All right. Let's do midway. How about that? All right. But yeah, having um, actually having your middle finger hold the side and your index finger on top and your thumb on the other side gives you a lot more control because you don't want to be touching this. Let this be on the bottom, away from any uh, digits. So one half the speed, try it out. Let's get it. All right, not bad. It's pretty cool. I really like how it comes out. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't really like, like, pop or, or extrude funny or anything like that. It's nice and smooth. 
but it's just I'm halfway and it's coming out so fast so I feel like for um most of my prints you know when there's any imperfections or holes or gaps it's only like a tiny bit so I'm probably only gonna use this with the speed of only half and down because anything above this will just be way too much and I'll probably do more damage than good but you know what let's jack this all the way back and let's give it another shot see what happens oh my god Yeah, that's coming out way too fast. Way too fast. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to fill up a tiny gap using that, using that top speed. But I think, honestly, um, one fourth, maybe halfway is the best settings for minuscule gaps or even like semi big gaps. But I feel like if you're going to, if you're going to crank this all the way up, you're gonna probably mess up the print or or just have like a lot of oozing so and on top of that probably 175 degrees celsius like it said the manual is probably like the best idea only reason why i did 180 is because my printer i print pla at 205 and it comes out perfectly so you know i was just trying it out but yeah 175 that's really good enough and yeah i would really recommend getting this it's really fun i mean to print like something really as detailed as this you're out of your mind you're not going to be able to but you know maybe filling in gaps and just like toying with it maybe having your your nephew play with it a little bit is really fun but yeah you know overall i would probably get this a four out of five it's really good so my name is Richard Alvarez, this is my channel Rich's Revelations, I hope you enjoyed that little reveal of the Mint 3D. Um, again, I think this is a really cool pen, um, I really can't wait to accidentally mess up a print for I could really try it out. It showed really good results, I'm kind of happy with the purchase, you know, I believe you just turn it off by unplugging it. Sorry, I can't do that with the GoPro in my hand. But yeah. So, hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you next time. Peace.